you feel with Darren going to Sunday in the first game as a Giant? Uh, I'm excited, man. Uh, just trying to stay within the day, you know. Uh, every single individual day of practice leads to a good game on Sunday. So I'm not trying to get too excited, uh, peak before then. You know, just trying to, you know, keep building as the week goes. With that, what was the feeling in today's practice? Um, you know, definitely excitement. Uh, you know, it's like a, it's a longer week. We have more practice days than the usual practice week. So it's like, all right, like definitely take advantage of the opportunities, make sure we're consistent, making plays in practice. But, you know, it's hard not to be excited for, you know, the season to get rolling. We've been practicing so much against each other. We're you know, start getting a little antsy. When you look at the Dallas defense on tape, what's their general approach against the tight end? Do you see a lot of men, a lot of zone safeties? Like, how do they generally try to match up with tight ends like you? Um, you know, they're like they're um, a zone team, like early downs, and then once you get to like third downs, they're a little bit more man coverage, and they got some. Um, like they have some good safeties. You look at uh, Curse is solid, big dude. Um, he's got a lot of skills. Uh, I think Wilson. I mean, really, all those guys, Hooker, can play, and uh, you'll you'll see some of those corners as well because it'll, it'll basically be man when you're out wide so uh, they got a lot of talented cover players so I mean that's who you want to go up against. I know you had division rivals in Baltimore and, and Vegas but what do you know about Giants Cowboys now and what have you come to appreciate about it? Um, yeah I mean like I, I said before uh, growing up in the house with my parents NFC East fans you know I've, I know I know the history I know how you know, heated and competitive these games have been over the years, and uh, I know what I'm about to step into on Sunday, and I'm, I'm honored to take the field. Does it help to step right into it week one? Does that make a difference to you? Um, I, I think these games are dope, man. Like, uh, in, especially when I was in Vegas, we had a uh, uh, primetime game pretty early. We played the Saints, and then we played uh, the Ravens the following year. So just having those games out the gate, it's you know, it's exciting. Those are the kind of environments that you want to play in. You know, everybody's watching and playing against a really good team. I feel like it's going to bring the best out of you pretty early on. Do you have a Giants-Cowboys memory? Uh, like, is there a game, a play, is there a player growing up that you hated as a Giants fan on the Cowboys? Um... I mean, I don't really hate the, I hate the players. I just know, like, you know, my parents were like kind of like anti Cowboys as far as their team, so I understood like <laughs> what what the deal was. But as far as the players, I always loved the players. But probably the biggest one, I feel like, it's got to be like Odell, probably. <laughs> Yeah. People don't expect you to come out, you know, Sunday night and have like eight catches for a hundred and some odd yards. <laughs> I mean, do you feel any of that or? Um, I mean, of course you do. It's there. It's available. The noise and it's like the expectations people have. But um, you know, I just I actually watched a video from uh, I don't know if you know who Inky Johnson is, but um, he had a video talking about expectations are external, but standards are what's internal. And you have a standard that which you have for yourself and know like, all right, my standard it is however many plays come to me however many opportunities come to me i try to make the most of those and if it ends up being eight for some some bigger plays then that is what it is but just just one at a time and try to keep it as simple as possible yeah we talk about what your game does for guys like saquon barkley how much you can open up for him um yeah i mean i feel like defense kind of have to make decisions they want to put the extra guy in the box which is uh something that you got to do to stop uh two six you know you gotta, you gotta need as many bodies as possible but when you do that you know you're more susceptible to those you know play actions those over routes which i feel like i've succeeded a lot at in my career so it, it, it creates a good harmony um, and whatever defenses want to do, it allows, you know, different guys, including receivers, to have advantages in their different uh, strengths of their game. How's it feel, man? You went from one great back last year with Josh, and now you're coming over here with Saquon. How's it feel? Spoiled, spoiled for sure. No, it's definitely a blessing. Yeah.